We are on the air, live in living color. We're going to do something a little differently here. We got two things to talk about. Two things. Two things. Because one thing is just not enough. Not enough. Not enough. So a while back, we got I got an email from one of those uh, PR firms, and they told me about these this company called Well Told Design. And what they do is they'll do all different kinds of products, mostly booze related, it seems. Beer glasses, rocks glasses, and they will etch it with maps, like various maps. Maybe so to find folks at Well Told, yes. so there's some rocks glasses. Well, they, they said, what do you want? I said, you know what, I'd like some rocks glasses with a map of Philadelphia etched on the glass. So it's welltolddesign.com. They do custom map glassware, insulated drinkware, Smart barware, which may have some history, literature, science, and more etched into the glass. Engraved uh, map pocket flasks. They have cutting boards. They also do coasters. So it's U.S. cities, major colleges, and I think you mentioned they also did the Boston Marathon map? They had the Boston Marathon map. They oh. also make some, uh, some O2 bottles that are etched. Oh. So if you're looking to take something to the gym, yeah. that's not a flask. Nice. You Why would you do that? And and the cutting boards are slate. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, can you go back? What's a gym? Yeah. And what's that's not, not a guy, a... not J I M. Oh, G Y M. G Y M. Gymnasium. Oh, screw that guy. So let's open these up and let's take a quick peek at these. Oh, there's a little bit of a reveal. There's a little surprise in the back. Ta da! Surprise! 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 For a rocks glass, what should you put in a rocks glass? You should put a rock, and you should put booze. And we have rocks. We have a little bit of both. We have a little bit of both. So this is kind of neat. You know, I don't know if you can see it. You really won't be able to see it until we fill it with something. But so we uh, we start down at, at Delaware River. We got Petty Island. We run through Kensington, Fishtown, Northern Liberty, Old yeah, City, Queen look Village. That. Look at that. It's all of more or less Center City, all the way out to Maniunk and uh, Cobb's Creek. Uh -huh. So it runs kind of the length from one end of the Delaware all through Center City. It's cool. Very nice. It's and it's well etched. It's got a nice feel to it. It does. It's very, very and nice. And it's, it's got a good heft. So I figured we've got to put these glasses to use, you know. And uh, what we're going to do, we went to a little event about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And what was it? Whiskey Bonanza at the Twisted Tail. Cool bar. Great event. Really nice guy that owned the place. Uh, we got the VIP tour with our good friends from um, Punch Media in Philly. So we had a really good time. So they had... These little tiny cans of Hochstetter Slow and Low Rock and Rye. And they said we, you could take them to go. So we did. And this is a, an actual Philadelphia product made in Philadelphia. Yeah. And it's got a backbone of rye whiskey. It's 84 proof. And they've macerated it with orange peels and infused it with a little bit of honey. Yep. Shall I read so the, we'll what take they a look? Say? Shall I Let's say what they, they say? say? The original American Panacea. Isn't that a cure-all? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I do have some il some illnesses right now. Oh, you got many illnesses. The only problem is, can, do you think this cure is mental ones? I don't know. I rub it in my scalp. Yeah, you know what? Rock and rye has been served straight up in saloons and pharmacies since the 1800s. 100% raw local honey from Pennsylvania, air-dried navel oranges from Florida, Angostura-style cocktail bitters, and a pinch of rock candy. Their motto, don't need no fixin'. Savor neat as a shop paired with a beer, over ice is an old fashioned. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it over ice as an old fashioned. So we got a little can of this lovely Hochstetter Slow and Low Rock and Rye, which seems really cool. And they've got this woman with this funky hair, and she's, I guess she's smoking a cigarette. Is that an Art Deco look? Is that what you said? Uh, kind of, I don't know. A little like Tiffany, like, Tiffany esque? Yeah, something like that. So we got that. We got the glass. We got the cool glass. I got some. I got some mostly clear ice. Look at that, huh? Look at that fancy. Drop that thing right in yeah, there. Yeah, you froze water. Come on. No Nobel Prize for you. You know, I froze it <laughs> properly, man. I froze it properly. Just give it a second. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to take some of this Hochstetter's. Wasn't he a guy in Hogan's Heroes? He was Major Hochstetter. Yeah, so we're going to take... Oh, look at that. It's even got the old, old school pull tab. Old school pull tab. I think it's a and, tin can. And it's the size can similar to what you'd use for your motor oil for a lawnmower. Hey, <laughs> I don't know. I never mowed a lawn before. So I, I, I think this will keep me running. Oh, look at that. Ooh, pretty. That is pretty. Come on, look at that. Oh my God, that's a lot. Well, I think if the ice has displaced a lot of this. Wow, it's got, it's got that's, a lot. That's what I'm going with. 
but we're not drinking that much. This is 100 milliliters, mm. so it's a, maybe two shots. Let's put it right here. Put that little can right about there. Let me refocus the old. And you got your side. the front and the back, so you can see both sides. So yeah, you want to give us a try? Now, have you had Rock and Rye from anything else? No, I you know mean, I remember having it as a kid. What's yeah. the Jock ones? Yeah, they, I think Jock they always ones had the well. Jock ones stuff, and I was always a little afraid of it. Frankly. And uh, my my dad, this was one bar, one bottle that sat behind his bar untouched, probably forever. Oh. I don't know anybody that was really looking for a Rock and Rye, uh -huh. and it always had chunks of fruit in it, like a fruit yeah. cocktail. Right, 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 right. That's what I remember. Which, I don't know how long that lasts. I don't know, but, but that's we'll what the alcohol's for. So cheers, cheers. That is a lovely glass. I also don't remember it uh, being in that high of proof. It's kind of cool. Yeah, neither do I. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, it smells fantastic, though. So this is essentially a canned old-fashioned. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could, you know... We so old-fashioned, you, you muddle the orange, right? Yeah, I guess so. Pour in the rye. But that's all in here. And then the only thing that's missing is one of your really good cherries, right? Oh, uh, that's true. That's, that's true. The... Oh, it smells fantastic, oh, doesn't it? Really it really smells nice. I get the rye. I get the orange. I mean, I, all this stuff is coming through. The, the Angostura bitters, a little bit of honey. It's all coming through in the nose. I, I went in. I'm sorry. I yeah. just couldn't wait. The color's pretty. I, I, I likes me an old fashioned. Look out! Look out! Look out! Look at that pretty ice. Thing. That is. Yes, I melted. Awfully, I froze water. That is awfully good. Isn't it? That is really good. And I got to tell you, the the iceberg dead ahead is it's a nice little thing in my glass. Mm. Ooh. Oh my god, that's got a kick to it. Yeah, too. that's really good. Got a little bite in the back Holy end. Cow. The, the rye is, I don't know where the, if they're making the rye themselves, but the rye is, it's, it's it got a lot of sharpness on that back end, mm. too. Like a good rye. While you're drinking, I'm going to find out if it's um, if it's got the hotch to it. Is there a rye? Where'd they get the rye? Boy, that's nice. Where did they get the rye from? You get a, a fair amount of the orange, the mm. Angostura, the bitters. You get the bitters in there. But the rye itself, it really holds up. It's a very good cocktail. Ooh, I got a lot of the honey. It's a really good cocktail. I got a lot of the honey. Like that. But not overly sweet. No. No, 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 no. Not like you sugar it up. No, but you know, honey has a little bit of a yeah. spice thing yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, I think between that and the and the uh, Angostura, that's really cool. Man. It's 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 really good. So really here's the question: Good by the pool? Well, you got cans. Ah, yeah. you do got cans. Cans, but does this break the law? Cans means we're portable. So, wait, how many ounces is this? How many ounces? One hundred milliliters. One hundred milliliters. So what's that work out to? So I can't do I can't uh, do four measure. ounces maybe. Uh, one hundred milliliters, forty two percent alcohol by volume. Uh, I don't know. Do the conversion, man. Mm. Taste wise, though, that's really good. Yeah, I'm. I I don't have a lot of the ingredients, unlike you, where you're like the <laughs> go to cocktail guy. Yeah. So for me, I'm looking for the simplest possible Ooh, cocktailing I can get. And I, and I gotta say, this cocktail in a, in a can, it's cocktail totally in a can. Cocktail totally in a can. Good. Sounds wrong. One hundred milliliters is three point four U.S. fluid ounces. That's a hefty so size drink. So you guess three, I guess four. Pretty good. Yeah, cool. that's a hefty size so drink. So a three ounce drink, that's pretty good. Hmm. And you know, typically when you get a cocktail, they're gonna put a forty percent rye, and then it gets a little muddled and watered down, so mm. it's under forty percent. This this is forty two percent. This is excellent. Yeah, it's really this good. is really really, it's really good. good. I'm giving this a solid A. You you get your little orange peel, rim the glass, right. twist, could, throw it on top. See, here's the thing. They they you they, build on this. they nice. prettied it up like in the you don't see the garnishes and all that, but it's all there. I'm mm -hmm. getting the orange, I'm getting the bitters, I'm getting the honey, I'm getting that, that little spice of rye, and then the ice kind of mellows it out really, really nice. Now I can't see drinking a beer and then, you know, knocking this back. I'm thinking that's gonna be a yeah, there's no chase. This isn't a chase. No, this is this is this it. This is and, and the quality of it. That's very really good. It's just sipping. That's very. You're good. gonna enjoy this. Yes, I agree. This is very good. So anyway, yes, I give this. I give this a solid A. I really do. I mean, that's really good. So I got to give the glass a solid A. It's mm -hmm. got good heft. The etching is very nice. It turned out really, you know, a good representation of Philadelphia. Yeah, that's cool. And the uh, the Rock and Rye boy, this is a really good cocktail. I like it. Really it. is. I like the it. people. They did so a really good job. So anyhow. Thanks to the folks at uh, Well Told Design. Thanks to the folks at Hochstatter's for making this lovely little adorable cocktail in a can. And uh, that's it. And thank you to you for joining me. <laughs> well, at the murder table. It, it is Tuesday. And yes. I need my medicine. And, and last but not least, I don't like the bag, but subscribe, folks. Subscribe. We'll give you more. Cheers. Cheers.